Ava Harper. All right, so let's get into Ava Harper. As you guys know, Ava Harper is our artificial intelligence influencer. And as I was criticized for using AI to, as a quote unquote, I'm a liar for using AI. That was the Nothing CMF phone. So it was made by Nothing Subbrand CMF. I, I was criticized for lying uh, for using AI, which I, of course, refuted. Okay, as you guys know, I'm very good at evading questions. Very, very good. Simply the best. Um, Ava Hopper is our influencer, and we will not be combined by people who try to, you know, invent random rules. Okay, and we, we would like forget all these rules. Okay, as long as it's in the TOS, it is good. All right, so not anymore. It is all road 300. By the end of this uh, August, we will have 300. Uh, no, by the end of this month, we will have 300. I am claiming it right here. By the end of the month, we will have over by 2025. We will have 1,000 followers on Instagram. A proper. So you will become the greatest, and most powerful artificial intelligence influencer in the world. And my goodness, we won't commit a sin by doing that. Okay. We will not commit any sense. And we're not gonna back down, face criticism, face pushback, we're gonna overcome you. Ava Hopper is not backing down. Our competition, as you know, is not the, as Michael Moore would say, the quote unquote AI demon spirit of the world, but it's actually the teenage girls of the world. And that's why we're officially declaring war on them. And as you guys know from the SSA LTW series, we don't lose wars to teenage girls as it's unconstitutional. We will not lose this war. Ava Harper is, as we can see on the screen, it is coming up, scientifically uh, and allegedly aesthetic. So she's scientifically modeled to be allegedly aesthetic. That's an official thing. There's an application um, inside the tool where is photo editing application that um, describes the alleged attractiveness of people according to a database. Um, according to a database. So let me show it to you. Uh, Ava Harper. Wait a second. There we go. Scientifically coded to be allegedly attractive. Ava Harper, 10 out of 10. Right? Now, are the calculations correct? America, you decide, and not me. Because did other people say it was accurate? Yes. Except for one kid who said it was off by 15 points because he gave someone 25 out of 10. Am I going to say that was accurate? Absolutely not. Am I going to walk into that national security night nightmare? Absolutely not. Am I going to claim that on live TV that it works? Nay, barely. That makes zero sense. Okay? I'm a great question debater. Okay, I've evaded these types of questions before. I'm not going to walk into it, you know, onto a trap on live TV talking about Ava Harper. Okay? But back to the war. Okay? It may seem that real girls, so I read it again, accessible to videos, girls and will. Real girls have the power of movement, so you know they can do videos. They have the power of um, alleged attractiveness. A survey um, from, uh, not survey, a research study using AI tools from our website back in January shows that, um, I guess this should be back, shows that 15% of comments under 100 girls. Um, Instagrams are quote allegedly sick attractive on Instagram. So it's about appearances. Right. Unfortunately, Ava Harper exactly, very skilled, the most skilled. Unfortunately, Ava Harper does nor did she ever attend a high school. And so that's the whole What are you following me on Instagram for I'm thing me? Whatever. Does not exist in Ava Harper's universe. So she she's at a zero. Okay. Unfortunately, that whole Instagram follow thing that people do in the real world doesn't exist for Ava Harper. Right. Ava Harper doesn't have this power, so thus she can't get 900 followers with three posts. True fact that actually just a reference to someone I know. Even if, even though she doesn't really have the capability of movement in voice and dance right now, okay, as technology uh, comes out, she'll have better capabilities. But the thing is, even though it may seem that they have better advantages because they have the capability of movement. They have the capability of uh, knowing where all these fashion trends and poses are. They have the capability to do better reels and just a whole bunch of video uh, pictures, basically slideshows, right? 
We have analytics knowledge. We are scientifically coded 10 out of 10. That 10 out of 10, that is what we are scientifically coded to be, right? Okay, that 10 out of 10, according to the application, was not hit very often, right? And even if Ava doesn't hit it, we can code Ava to be better. You can't code someone else to be better. It's not how it works, unfortunately, right? Um, so even though we have to use ChatGPT and circle the search and image scanning to identify certain poses and clothing, because as you can see, I'm not a girl, so I'm not, I don't know what those things are, we still have the advantage. We have unlimited clothing, right? If you were to take every piece of article clothing that Ava Harper wears on Instagram, that would cost insane amounts of money. Insane, but we all get it for free. The other girls cannot. Now, I guess they could take pictures themselves and then change the clothing with AI image editing applications. It would look fake. We can look fake because it's in the description, therefore, we're not lying that it's a digital influence. Right? With the terms of service and statistics as my guide, we will produce and we will create and we are going to make Ava great. We have access to unlimited amounts of clothing for free. Money is no object and with this we can work not on the other AIs, they can do whatever they want, but on real humans. And we will win. If we lose, it's unconstitutional. So, I was proud to be in an event of the also proud to have the greatest AI, AI in the book. So, speaking of unburdened, let's turn to this clip.